Okay, here we go. Manuscript. It's the same type of page we found at Cauldron Lake. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was. Killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. I have a heart. Try to stay in the light to avoid being detected by enemies. Oi! He can't see me in the light. This is so cool. My gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it back. Safe Havens will restore some of your health. If you leave or attack from a safe haven while in combat, it will become temporarily unavailable. Oh. Go. I need coffee more. Did somebody call for a tour guide? Oh wow. Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours. Unforgettable tour experiences at affordable prices. That's right. I'm Ilmo Koskala voted best coffee roaster slash tour guide by Coffee World magazine. And I'm here to give you the tour of a lifetime. But Ilmo, I've heard the government has seized and restricted access to many local nature attractions. That is true, Yanko. Many local attractions have recently become fenced off by the government. And that's why, at Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours, we say, Fuck the government! We have bolt cutters. Oh, wow. You 
think of everything. And we'll take you anywhere. Hiking through the scenic Elderwood National Park. That guy, by the way, is Hiking a Finnish actor. Of if Dam. you didn't know. Bird watching at Majestic Mirror Peak. Good to see you, Alan. Uh, uh, this must be an exciting time for you. But tell me, does it ever get old? So does what get old? Publishing a new book. Are you okay there, my friend? You look like you've been cooped up in the writer's room for a few too many years. <laughs> this is exactly how I feel. <laughs> you know, I've waited so long to get my hands on the sequel to Departure. You left us on quite the cliffhanger. We've all been dying to know what it's not a lake, it's an ocean really means. You and me both. Well, our wait is over. Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves tomorrow. What? That's exactly what every reader will be asking. This book is mind-bending. It's so cerebral. I mean, how would you describe it? A an auto-fictional thought experiment? A, a, a horror story? A postmodern detective story wait this isn't right i i haven't written anything he's so humble okay you got me good prank very funny but yeah i sad to say i, I i've not written this I, i'd remember if i'd written a book right or maybe it was written by your evil double Well played, man. That is spot on. Playing the role here. Pretending the world of the book overlaps our own. That's very meta indeed. You see, Initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake, who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten he has written. The book is set in New York, but it might not be New York at all. He is tormented by his dark doppelganger, guided by visions of a fictional detective he has written. That's right. Alex Casey is in this book as well. Uh, I guess we'll just keep doing this the whole show. The joke's on me. But isn't that what you sign up for with auto fiction? No, but seriously, I found the, uh, the structure of the reality you build in the book fascinating. It reminded me of The Matrix. I mean, the writer is physically in his writer's room, trapped there, and he projects himself out to this dark dream of New York through the story he is writing. Uh, like astral projection. Did I get that right? Yeah, that's exactly right. Go on. I should be taking notes here. This is great stuff. Notes to that other Alan Wake in that room writing this as we speak? Are we all in your story, Alan? <laughs> wow. No, I, I, I wish you every success with your new book, Alan. I hope it's as successful as your best-selling Alex Casey series. Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this hero's journey trilogy of yours. A book called Return, perhaps. Man, thank you for one of the strangest interviews of my entire career, Alan. All this talk of meta-narratives. 
have to expect me to disappear once this scene ends. <gasps> wow. I mean... Hello? There was something in the studio with me. I had to get out. Oh no. drowning man gasping for air this place felt familiar a ghost of a memory surfaced about riding here for countless days welcome back to the show so alan as the uh, creator of the character how do you feel about this sorry what I know it can be an awkward question with the man sitting right next to you, but I mean, how do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he look the part to you? Does it look like Max Payne to you? He looks exactly like I always imagined Casey to be. It's uncanny. <laughs> Thank you. That means so much to me. I'm a huge fan of your books. So, uh, what's the problem, Alan? Because on more than one occasion, you voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices that are different from mine. I, I, I feel protective about my stories and these adaptations. I, uh, I don't know. I, I guess I just wish I could have been more involved in making them. Well, in that case, you won't have seen this either. We have a clip from the new film, Murder Case Casey. Should we roll it, or do you want to say something first, Sam? Nah, just roll it. This is this so weird. It was an old scar that refused to heal. The rain made it fester. It needed the sun, but there was only the night. I was tired. Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. I was watching the world through a rain slick window, my own reflection haunting the view. I was trying to track down the missing writer. My only clue was a table lamp shaped like an angel, the only thing to shed light on this sordid mystery. Great. Murder case, Casey. Great job, Sam. Very exciting and very meta. I'm looking forward to seeing more. Wait, stop. What was that about a writer? About a lamp? <gasps> this is so weird. Are we trapping in some kind of loop? Oh. His family was from Sweden. I've always imagined it kind of like this. Saunas, lakes. Seems nice. Enjoying the sauna? <laughs> you bet. The steam is amazing on my creaky old joints. I'm just waiting for Ati to wrap up his show so we can crack open some beers. I've read that taking a sauna is good for preventing dementia. Yeah, and so is beer. Ever heard of the cult of the tree? The half deer, half man monsters? Oh, sure, I've heard of them. They're the reason I can't risk taking walks in the forest anymore. If one of them shows up, how am I supposed to get away? I can't run with a bad hip. I'd be killed for sure. I could maybe use my crutches to defend myself. Did you think that'd work? You're the professional. Probably smart just to stay in the sauna for now. <laughs> Funny. Come on, how can I? Huh. 
Okay, that one died. Huh? What are you screaming at? Oh. Oh. Hey! Rain. Must not drink the water. Or take a bath. Ever again. <laughs> moonshine. Only drink the moonshine, brother. You remember this one, the one? First one? Don't look like cultists. Oh no. Oh no. I'm looking for the Anderson trailer. Sweetie pie, right on time. Like we were just saying, it's not true. The lies to hurt you and make you weak. Don't believe a word. They believe because deep down, they want to be told what to think. We're different. Rebels! You must stop it before it turns real. Don't be part of the story. Make the story. <laughs> stop the hell of it! <laughs> These old drunks don't seem affected by the horror story like the other locals are. Do they know what's happening here? How do you know about the story? Same as you, of course, sweetie pie. We are family. The Andersons. Vikings. Gods. So good. To finally see you, Saga. I am your great uncle Odin, and this is your long lost Murfar, Thor. Sarasoga. He is your grandfather, and I am the old father. <laughs> Just as crazy as everyone else. Just as caught in it. I need... Logan used to love her music. Lo... My new found relatives. Cozy with the cult of the tree. And that's the clicker. In the hands of the cult, just like the page promised. Carlyval and Knights. That's the motorcycle club the Coskella brothers are in. I'll take Odin and Tor up on their offer and visit their nursing home right after I find this biker workshop. No. It's not true. It's just a fucking story. It's not true. Logan's back home. She's fine. Fuck. She's at school. David. I'm in the story and it's coming true. Wake said Scratch would try and hurt me with the horror story. But he said there's still time to stop this. That he can stop this with a clicker. Hey, this is David. Leave a message. David? Is Logan okay? Call me back as soon...
Mulligan is a cultist? What the fuck is going on here? Wake? I I've been tricked. Scratch room. I tried to fix the story, but has it now. It's the key to escape. What do you mean, escape? You're already out. So is Scratch. Silver. We're making progress. I wrote to be the story's hero. Save her family. Save us all. Save her family? Are you talking about my family? Yes. You know it's working. You just need to keep going. Did you put my family in the horror story? I keep seeing him in overlaps, but he's already out. Are these visions coming from the past? When he was still trapped in the dark place? I have the clicker. I can stop this nightmare. Elderwood Palace Lodge. Alan Wake. <laughs> My name comes up, your books come up, you come up. I've read them. There are echoes of my life in there that makes me feel like someone's been watching me. Wait, what? What happened to Alan Wake? The unanswered mystery. Never expected to find you alive. Oh, my head's killing me. I think you like using people, Wake. Taking their lives and twisting them into your stories. And when someone gets hurt, it's kick-ass material for the next one. Shit! Spilled my coffee. I take it you're not a fan, then, Agent Casey. This is not your playground, and I'm not your fucking creation. It doesn't work that way. You can't make something out of nothing, even in the dark place where the rules hardly apply. It's very complicated to make fiction come true. I saw visions of what's happening. What will happen? Dreams. I tried to use them in my writing. I understand how dangerous it is now. Even with a paralyzing amount of planning. I think I stopped writing. I think I gave up. But there's a manuscript. Maybe I forgot not to write. The dark place makes you forget. I just want to fix this. Find a version of the story that fixes everything. Shut up! Get down! Oh! We want the rider. No one else needs to get hurt. Fuck off. Oh. Shit. Hey, what are you doing? Scratch. He's close. Stay down. Wait, I need a gun. No chance. FBI! Tracy! Look out! It's coming! Oh no. Oh no. Return for no chance. No chance. <sighs> B 
blood? getting so weird. Federal Bureau of Control. We'll take it from here. Out cold. Wait. This is my case. This is no longer an FBI investigation. The case has been transferred to us. This is bullshit. Noted. We're moving the evidence and paperwork from your field office to our base of operation at the sheriff station. Any other pieces of evidence with you? Anything relevant? The clicker. I can't trust them with it. Nothing comes to mind. Okay. Then your work here is done. Hey. You did well. Wait. My partner, Agent Casey's MIA. We'll look for He's him. He's my partner, damn it. Agent. I should be... Go home. Careful, moving quick. They think he's a para-utilitarian. No. Fuck this. I was so close to getting the clicker to wake. I'm not done here. Not until I find Casey. Not until my family is safe from this horror story. Hey, bum. Oh. Waiting late for visitors, you know. I was just getting the. Oh, Saga. What's up? <laughs> What's up? Hello, Rose. Thought I'd swing by, see the family. Not a bad time, is it? Oh no, I was just. You know, tidying the, uh, the, um... I'm so glad you're visiting again, Saga. But Odin and Tor can't see anyone today. Oh. I was just on the phone with Tor. He invited me over. Sorry. They had a little too much fun on our trip to Watery and need to rest. I need an excuse to get in and talk to them. That's too bad. Okay if I say hi to the other residents before I go. Um, sure. They always love visitors. Come on in. Not smart to be outside when the sun goes down. I love the architecture. Do either of you know where I could find Tor and Odin? Odin is sleeping upstairs. But your grandpa's been acting crazy. He got electrocuted when he smashed the telephone. Don't make up stories. Tor went loopy and smacked himself in the head with that hammer he's always carrying around. Tor is hurt. Something's wrong with him. Was Tor hurt badly? He never let go of that hammer when he got electrocuted. It looked like a bolt of lightning hit him. Wham! Zap! <laughs> Thank goodness Blum took the hammer away from him. It's not <clears throat> Tor's hammer, no matter what he keeps saying. <laughs> Blum has his moments. Even if he is a Russian. Andy May, you can't say stuff like that. That's some fascinating network, Mandy May. What's your inspiration? Oh, uh, I don't know. It is what it wants to be. Uh, taking a break from making those little ornaments for Rose. Do you knit? I dabbled when I was pregnant. Socks, mittens, the usual stuff. Oh, how about knitting me some underwear? <laughs> One more crude remark from you, Norman, and I'll put this needle in your ear. There's Tor, and he's out of his mind. Need to get to him.
Well, he acts like a Thor. Hello there. Wait, what Thor is doing? Is this something they watch on movie night? That looks just like Casey. What the hell is going on? Writing a story. It's the only way. Then change the story. If this is the past, if this is you still in the dark place, then you can do that, right? You cannot write her in. She's my daughter, goddammit! Logan is in the story. I can get him to change it. Make him change it now. He had no right to do this to Logan. To my family. Tor. Uh, oh, fucking hell. Nice! We got okay? Tor back. Uh, hey, it took your sweet time to come save your grandpa, huh? Uh. Nice attitude. A family trait? Uh... Uh, you're right. Sorry. Thanks for helping out an old bastard like me. That's my job. Now, I've got some questions for you. <laughs> of course you do, sweetie pie. <laughs> and I got answers. End of the chapter. Thank you, everybody, who were here today. Oh, man. What a struggle at the end. Okay, we tried to go say, finding a safe game first we before we... Damn right. Lots for me to explain. But not here. The knight's got ears. We can have our talk in your head. You have a... Room there, right? How do you know about that? I'm your grandfather. <laughs> what don't I know? You know about my mind place? How is that possible? We all have the power. Find the truth. Damn right I do. 
Odin already told you you're a seer. You can gaze into their heads, see the truth. See past the lies. Past this bullshit horror story. Us Andersons aren't bound by it. You can fight it. Don't be the story. Make the story. It's true. I am a seer. I have a power. My mind plays is more than I thought it was. This isn't my intuition. I'm seeing their thoughts. Is this why I know the truth about Logan? While everyone else forgot? You said you were my grandfather. If that's true, why wasn't I told about you? You were part of our fucked up family. Way before this horror story. I was a shitty fucking dad to Freya. Your mom didn't deserve that. Not one bit. Things were said and done. Not a day goes by, I haven't regretted it. But that fucking father of yours didn't make things any easier. I know Freya is gone. So I need to apologize to you. I am sorry, Saga. I can see he's sorry. Mom said she didn't want anything to do with my grandfather. And that my father died before I could remember. It all matches. Tor and Odin are part of my family. You said you were a shitty father to my mom. Is that why she left? Freya never looked back. My girl was strong. Freya always thought our powers had a dangerous side. Odin and me did fuck with things that should not have been fucked with. Your mom had common sense. She raised you right. Kept you safe. I'm not surprised she didn't tell you about the Anderson power. She was always protecting me. Whenever I told my mom about my mind place, she called it make-believe. I wish she'd been more honest with me. At least towards the end. Mom wouldn't talk about my father. You knew him? Some doors are better left closed. Your dad was a complicated bastard. Always thinking too many steps ahead. That's not how we work. There was trouble, and then he was gone. I didn't handle it well. Freya didn't want anything to do with me after that. Wait. I can't blame her. I never knew my dad or my mom's family. So many broken relationships in my past. I won't lose mine. With Logan. With David. Was there I stop until they're safe. I have the clicker. Can I use it to save my daughter? An app? Get your guitar roaring and your drums crashing. Blow reality's eardrums. Just the light switch isn't enough. It's Tom's story we're dealing with, so he's got to be the one to rewrite it. After that's done, he can flick that switch to bring the whole thing home, baby. I can't use the clicker without Wake. Tom. Meaning Wake. He needs to rewrite the story first. I can't stop the horror story without him. I need to go find Wake. To stop this. The old gods of Asgard will be ready to help. Ha ha ha. Me and my bro will... Bring the rock when you need it. Remember, your daughter is alive. Just kept from you by this bullshit horror story. I needed to hear that. Thanks, Grandpa. <laughs> Okie dokie. I don't like the sounds coming from the station. Find what? I'm here Jeez. in the closet. Agent Estevez? Ready! Is that you? Anderson? 
Did I tell you to fuck off? Looks like it's a good thing I didn't. Looks like. <laughs> My leg's busted, so I'm gonna need your help. Logan. Listen, there is a person out there with you invaded by something that we call the Shadow, and if you take it... Yeah. Wow, you are a big guy. That leg doesn't look good. <sighs> Feels even worse. But thanks for saving the rest of me. Saga. Fucking FBI, FBC, you government fucks all fucking this up for us. Let us the fuck out. You're the leaders of the cult. You're not going anywhere. Wake will ruin everything. Get rid of him, Saga. You fucking shot me. Typical government stooge that you're dealing with, but you have no fucking idea. Let us out. You Saga. can't stop it. None of you can. Do you have it? We can take care of this. We've been prepared. I have the for clicker. This. You will fix this. You will save my daughter. Promise me. Yes, I promise. But we're out of time. Hurry. Oh no. <laughs> There it is. We've oh been no. waiting for you, motherfucker. I'm gonna fucking destroy you. Oh no. No way. Yes. Scratch was here. He'll be back. What do we do now? What does he want from me? No. I'm in control here. It's my mind place. He's powerful. Too powerful. Just his presence here makes me feel sick. I'm sorry about your brother, Elmo. Yaku was all heart. He always went along with my ideas, no matter how stupid they were. Always happy to help. I got carried away. I never think things through. It's my fault. I realize it's a bad time. But I need you to tell me everything about the cult of the tree. The cult is my craziest idea that ever worked. <laughs> Look, what kind of a cult calls themselves a cult? Exactly. We protect water in Bright Falls. We're the good guys. A secret neighborhood watch. Well... That was the idea anyways. Look, we've always known about the horror inside the lake. When any Taken come out, we kill them. You don't turn people into Taken. You kill the ones who already have. You were trying to kill Alan Wake. Why? Nothing good has ever come out of Cauldron Lake. The nightmare that hit Bright Falls in 2010 was all because of his writing. And ever since then, pages of his stories are floating up from the lake, and monsters keep popping out. It's all him, Wake. And if we don't stop him, no one will. Wake's evil doppelganger Scratch is the threat we're facing. Not Wake. And I will stop him. I've never heard of anyone called Scratch. How long has the cult been around for? Certain folks around here have always known about Cauldron Lake. Before us, it was the Torchbearers. And when I inherited the mission, I wanted to call it a cult. <laughs> it was genius. Just a name did half the work. Made people too scared to go into the woods at night. Business 101. Fear, 
is a great motivator. To bring him back? Clicker to make it real? So where the fuck is he? The music was cool, yeah. Kirby, please help me to explain this. Because I really I'm I'm out I of this. This place couldn't get any stranger. But I need to admit, some things have been made very cool, like really, but the gameplay is so confusing. But the story is also a little bit confusing. Anybody home? Huh? Uh... Okay. Hey, 
in this temple of shadow and mist. There's a window in the floor and a door in the ceiling. There's no knowing, am I standing still or running or kneeling? Zane. The name was Zane. Indeed. I'm Tom Zane. Welcome to the house of Zane. The poet. The diver. You look like me. How the hell? Or maybe you look like me, you handsome devil. The diver was a beloved character I played in one of my films. I'm a filmmaker. A celebrated auteur. I need answers. Why is return so important? What? Al, you, you always get worked up like this. Come on, I'll fix you a drink. You and me, Al. We're in this together. Two artists collaborating, remember? Crafting the keys to our escape. Your magnum opus, Return, and its, its companion piece, my film. Sharing our, our life-altering visions, a, a melding of higher minds. Dreaming up our transcendental work of art. Here, in this room. 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 You know, soon we are going to find Strand and Kirby. This is this is getting out of loose. We there's there's we are only missing Strand then now. I need the clicker. <laughs> it's returned because we returned. That is how the magic happened. <sighs> Enough of this bullshit. Alice is in danger. I need another murder site to go further. Back to Parliament Tower. Scratches. Your wife is safe back in the real New York. But Scratch is reaching for her through an overlap. Return is the key to escaping the dark place. You need to get it before that freak does. <sighs> There's a murder site here in the hotel. Let the waves of your riding carry you there. <sighs> Hello? They're all to us. If anyone asks, you were never here. <laughs> that must be the rain. It ended our talk in what felt like a paranoid fit. I had what I needed from him. There was another murder site in the hotel to guide me further toward my escape. I had to write my way to it. This was the murder site. There was a record at the. Cynthia. Wait, what? Another step. Somehow I was closer to home. Closer than ever before. It's you again. The FBI agent. Saga Anderson. I'm closer now. I can feel it. You help me get closer to escaping. Wake. Are we still trapped? Yeah, the clicker. We can feel it. You know about the clicker. It can help us. I destroyed the dark presence with it last time. You can help. You can find it. You must find they it. already did. She already did. I can get it to you. I have to understand. Did you write you never know the story? Alice is in danger. I have to stop Scratch. I have to find Return. I need to get back to my apartment. I'm writing a story to get through. Initiation. It's the only way. It's a story. You can do that, right? You can write out. It lasted only for a moment, like two planets passing in orbit. Saga Anderson was helping me, helping me go deeper. 
closer to escape. Somehow, I had to trust her. Parliament Tower. I had to get back to my apartment, my study. I had to find the manuscript of return. Oh boy, here we go. of a novel return a horror story about the dark presence escaping from the dark place taking over bright falls i couldn't remember writing it i had not written it i would never write this i knew who had scratch a monster with my face if this story came true scratch would get out people would die destroying the manuscript it wouldn't stop it from happening i would have to fix it edit it I could not change the genre of the story. I'd have to work within the constraints set by Scratch. I needed someone in the story to fight the darkness. Saga Anderson. I kept seeing her in my visions. She was already in Bright Falls, already involved, but she was not in return. Not yet. I'd write her in, try to stop Scratch within the limits of the horror story. It was almost impossible. It was taking too long. I had not reached the end. Okay. Stop me before I could finish my edits to the manuscript. The memory of my edits was already fading. Terrible things would happen if the manuscript came true. Scratch was there at Parliament Tower undoing my work. He could use the story to escape. He could go after Alice. Zane had said we worked on return together. That was a lie. Scratch wrote return. I would pay Zane another visit. He had guided me to two murder sites. I needed a new one to get back to Parliament Tower. A new draft of initiation. Don't put me back to the hell hotel then. What are you going to see this time? Is the door? Or? Yep. Oh no, this is a serious talk now. I don't have time for this, so let's get it over with. Tell me, was this all fake? A show? No one said otherwise, Mr. Wake. It was to indulge you, but we can stop pretending now. Uh, masks come off. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I don't even think you know who's under your mask, but you know how to make things difficult for yourself. All these rules, endless, convoluted loops you insist on going through. You are so lucky, you know. There are so many people helping you. Armies of people. Myself. Your wife. Alice. I need to get to her. She's in danger. She is. Because of you. 
And so is someone important to me, someone you pulled into this. You keep opening doors, peeking in, reaching through to get what you want, and that puts you in my path. I don't know what you're talking about. I have to go now. Maybe you will make it through this time. This has gone on long enough. This and our night springs, it was a nice distraction. It's time someone gave me a straight answer here. The next time we meet, the circumstances will be very different. And you would do well to return the favor by playing your part. Or stay out of my way, Mr. Wake. Whatever you say. So wait, is the door... Is the... Door, <laughs> Zane. The masks were finally coming off. Was it a sign I was closer to escaping? I had no time to waste. Oh no, that doesn't look good at all. I'm in control now. The second you try anything, I will shoot you in the head! Scratch wrote return, not me! You're a fucking liar! You'd given up. You stopped writing. You said it was too dangerous, that, that we didn't deserve to get out. And then he showed up. Scratch, he promised to write. To get me the hell out of here. He was magnificent. A visionary. I mean, it was art. But then, when he finished, he took return and left me behind. It's still here, and so is he. I know I fucked up. But you can still catch him before he gets out, before he gets to your wife. When you get to him, don't hesitate. Kill the bastard for what he did to us. There's a murder site in my cinema, where my film Nightless Night is playing. I told you not to try anything! <sighs> yeah, I've already seen the mask before. Wait, it was the Salgas mask! Oh wait, we are so close at the end if this makes... This is how I could help her. Saga Anderson, listen. I, I've been tricked. Scratch wrote returned. I, I tried to fix the story, but he stopped me before I reached the end. He has it now. It's the key to escape. What do you mean? Escape? You're a scratch. I need to stop him. I need to stop him before he gets out. He's after Alice. I'm still trapped, but I'm making progress. I wrote you in to be the story's hero. Scratch made a horror story. I need to match the genre. It has to be dark, but the hero can break through, save her family, save us all. Save her family? Are you talking about my family? Yes. Whatever you're doing, it's working. You just need to keep going. Did we have in the horror story? I was closer now. Closer than ever before. 
But there was no time to lose. Everything was hanging in the balance. I could still lose it all. Parliament Tower. I had to make it work this time. I could stop Scratch, get the manuscript, fix its ending. Hello? Hello. It wasn't Zane. It wasn't Scratch, either. Huh? You're me? Me? I don't understand. There's a lot I don't understand. A dark place operates in loops. Time is a story. I'm calling you from a different point in that story. From the future? I'm never getting out of here, am I? Yes, you will. And no, you won't. And that is by your own choice. What does that mean? I'm sorry for what you'll have to go through. Alice's photos you found from the shoebox in the talk show basement. Before you can go to Parliament Tower, you must put them in the shoebox at her statue at the plaza. To help you, to help Alice, to help Saga Anderson. I'm my own deus ex machina? Really? so much rage inside of him, I can't stand it anymore. God, I tried so hard. I can't. I can't. made a decision most of you won't understand. People call me an artist, but I don't care about any of that. I just wanted to show the world what I see. I can't keep going like I have been. It's time for a perspective shift. To go from photographer to subject. From artist to art. was dead. Scratch tortured her until she couldn't stand it anymore. Until she broke. And all that time, she thought it was me. 
Scratch was still here. He hadn't escaped the dark place yet. He was scratching my edits out of return. But which one is which? I see, I saw this before already. I had seen this before. Hmm. This was not Scratch. This was me. Caught in a loop. I had stopped myself trying to fix the manuscript. I was the one haunting Alice. It was always me. I killed her. This is the ritual to lead you on. Your friends will meet him when you're gone. We did bring Wake back from the dark place with the song and the clicker. But he didn't end up here now. He landed on the shore after I faced Nightingale in the overlap. Are you okay? Oh, no! It's my fault! They got out with my face! Scratch! That night I found Wake here. He appeared because of this. The summoning. That was Wake. Scratch wasn't pretending to be Wake. They're the same person. Bitch. He's here! Scratch! Watch out, Anderson! Estevez, Scratch is Wake with the dark presence inside him. He wants the clicker. Change of plan. I'll lure him to the cell. When we're inside, lock it and blast it with all you got. That was so... Estevez, Casey, now! <laughs> Oh no. I'm sorry. Wait. Is it you? I'm so sorry. Did it work? Use the clicker. Oh no. Casey? My Casey. Scratch. No. Don't let to be the bearer of bad news, folks, but it's official. Tear Fist is canceled. Today, Bright Falls feels a little less bright. <laughs> Wait, what? Tom, we need to get to our next gig. We're doing this for you. And our lovely saga. You take care of things on this side. Don't screw it up, Tom! I'd seen it all play out. Like a horror movie I'd been forced to watch. The Dark Presence held all the cards now. I did you. I brought Saga Anderson into this story to help me escape. She succeeded. It cost her everything. I'd used Alex Casey in my writing for years. The real Casey had been drawn here because of that. 
Now he was a victim too. Saga, Casey, Alice, all this horror originates from me. It's my fault. Scratch had to be stopped. I've driven down this road before. Been driving on it forever. If Scratch had brought the dark place here, this would take me back inside. In 2010, I had dived in. A leap of faith for Alice. With no idea that the cost would be a nightmare worse than death. It had taken me 13 years to get out. Now Alice was dead because of me. And I was going to make that leap again, this time knowing the cost all too well. Another way to look at it? I had brought the dark place here with me. I never had gotten out. Maybe after this I finally could. It was a fool's hope. I had no choice. I had to do it. That didn't make me any less terrified. Fuck it. room to stop this horror story and where is the writer's room this was an obsessive egocentric nightmare all revolving around a vain monster of a writer and his final divine work of art the novel return come true it wouldn't stop here it would keep spreading Cauldron Lake. No, this is something else. Do you mean that the writers? There. I needed to write the ending. I only had one chance to get this right. Okay, end of the road achievement. Saga. I finished it. The ending we talked about. I have the clicker and the bullet of light. Let's do this. I have to be the one to do it. I feel like I've always been on this journey. Okay. It must end here, this darkness. What lies under the surface now shifts. A play of shadows catching my eye, thrusting my face into the water. He's here. It's shockingly cold. Past the mirror of the surface. And I will see. Hey, see? The end. Scratch! Now! A white searing light of truth that for a flash pierces the shadows and reveals the hidden horror. And in that moment of silence, the whispered message finally heard. nothing waiting to be revealed the play of shadows fool us all subterfuge to get our price of admission darkness not as a monster but as emptiness we're none the wiser no answers no truths the hero turns to look inside it's destroyed by what he sees and is redeemed saga said we're both heroes i'll pay that price so will she we are here to kill the monster i pray nothing comes after this nothing with sleep this is how we win. Is it too easy? What if this is still the dark place? Another dream to wake up from, always coming back to the beginning. The memory of what came before burned away by this terrible realization. Maybe it's a mercy, forgetting. To know nothing when we loop around, back to the... Is it 
over? Anderson. is just for you. After the haunting started, I got in touch with an organization that was still looking into what happened in Bright Falls. I went to their offices and something happened there. After I got home, I could suddenly remember everything. I remembered being trapped inside that lake, a dark ocean with, with echoes of myself, my, my, my fears, my photos, inside a dark tide of, of madness, the same events and images looping again and again. And then I saw a light, your light. You dove in just as I swam out. You never drowned. And you're still there reaching out. That is what the haunting is. I can see you because I've been there too. I chose to come back to the dark place. That is why I put on this exhibition. I had to mislead you so that I could get you to where you needed to be. The only way out of your loop is destruction or ascension, light or dark. And we've covered the destruction part many times over. And we're getting to the ascension bit by bit. Time means nothing here. You'll still need to go through the loop. But I will keep showing you the images you need to see, the light you need to see, until you're ready. Ellen, I think we're getting close. <gasps> it's not a loop. It's a spiral. Can we skip now? They did it, guys. It's done. Yeah, I think Alice is a dead. He, she, she just needed to show those pictures to... That to Alan, Alan is doing the thing what he needs to. Yeah. Oh man.